Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 59th episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors and Happy Halloween. To start off, I just wanted to say that this will be the last Best Tech and Phone Rumors video to be released on a Monday. And that's primarily because I wanted to extend the length of Best Tech and Phone Rumors. So by combining the Monday and Friday episode and just releasing it on a Friday, that will make it longer. I know a lot of people have been requesting longer episodes for a while now. So again, this will just be the last episode that I'll release on a Monday. I'll still release episodes on Friday and with that said, I just wanted to cover a couple of quick news stories. So in August, a company called C3 Technologies was actually bought out and shut down by the company who purchased them. Now there was some speculation that Apple had purchased them. However, until recently, it wasn't confirmed whether or not Apple had purchased them. And as it turns out, they did. So basically C3 Technologies was a really great company that created extremely advanced 3D maps. And the best part is that they did this almost fully automated. And they basically had a really great system going. And hopefully these 3D maps will be integrated into iOS in future Future releases however we most likely won't see it until at least iOS 6 or later this definitely would be a really great and welcomed addition to iOS because I'm sure as most of you know Apple has used Google Maps since the release of the original iPhone back in 2007 so I'm sure Apple is getting tired of using Google Maps and they want to try and expand and do it on their own and this is a great way for them to start doing that also I wrote a post on how to dramatically increase the battery life for the iPhone 4s and all you have to do is basically just go in and disable a couple things inside of the location portion of your settings and if you want to improve on that even more then you can disable a couple of other things related to notifications so it's definitely recommended for anyone who has an iPhone 4s that wants to improve their battery life and also Apple released three new iPhone 4s commercials one about Siri another about iCloud and the other one about the iPhone 4s's updated camera so they're actually pretty good and I'll have a link to those down below in the more info and finally I did another video on how to get the semi-untethered jailbreak for the iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 4th, and 3rd generation, as well as the first iPad. And I did this video because it was updated, and now it actually has the ability to use Safari when you turn it off and turn it back on, and it's not booted into its boot tethered state. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I highly recommend checking out that video because I did give an in-depth explanation of it as well. So I'll have links to everything I talked about in today's episode down below in the more info. Also, just remember that you can enter my All Things Apple giveaway that I'm doing in collaboration with iPod Uplink in this video. Simply remember to rate it up, favorite it, and also leave a comment down below in the comment section with the phrase All Things Apple giveaway. If you are unaware of my All Things Apple giveaway or you don't know what's required to actually enter, I will have a link to a video explaining everything down below. Also, just be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release a new video. And if you guys want updates more often, just remember to follow my Twitter accounts and like my Facebook fan page. And I'll see you guys in the next Best Tech Info and Rumors episode on Friday. So until then, this is ICU signing out.